hello everyone it's me asm are welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of artwork actually i made this one extra look with a preset and other stuff so you can easily make this your photo or this type of photo easily let's see how to do that if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and if you already subscribed to my channel please hit the like button and share with your friends let's start the tutorial and going to the file and open up i have some stock images from deviantart.com uh, the model which is a uh, trees marigold and like this this one actually so this photo and now press ctrl or command j i'll make copy of this layer just because of working with the new layer and background purpose or the backup purpose i'll keep the background layer here so select this one i'm giving the name of the layer is like uh, edit okay and go to the filter and camera filter you know camera filter is another plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version by default and if you are the user of the cs version you have to install it manually please check out my video description for the download link from here i'll add some highlights a little bit not too much i'll making it zoom for my editing help and here i'll add some uh, lights extra lights and the whites i'll decrease the whites and give some warm color from here the temperature and thin as well from here i'll add some texture and the uh, vibrance i'll increase the vibrance and saturation a little bit and from here the major color is here the aqua color so i'll go to the hsl panel from here i'll increase the saturation of the blue aqua and green and luminance as well blue aqua blue aqua and green so yes this color and the saturation as well i'll make the saturation light that and red color as well and luminance of the orange i'll make the orange luminance for the face color and all the thing is good and after that i'll go to the detailing option add some detailing and add some luminance of noise reduction for the smoothing of the face and all the stuffs like uh, here a color luminance as well nice i'm going to the split toning options from the split toning i'll add uh, the tone for the highlight portion like warm tone yeah this type of warm tone if you need you can increase the lights and saturation and i'll provide you know, the cinematic color for the shadow options so it could be like green or aqua type that's fine and from the calibration you can work with the calibration let's see before and after huge change you are already got over here and here adding some exposure little bit and contrast that's fine and here the saturation a little bit up so i'm saving these settings for you guys and i'll provide you that settings in my video description please check out my video description and marigold 2 okay and hit the ok button after adding the preset you will get the look like that so before one and after one and after that now i'll add some spark over here for the main look go to the file and place embedded options here is spark and i'll provide you the download link in my video description so this one helped me out uh, for the cinematic look so like this right press and flip horizontally and hit the tick button and over here from screen mode nice and if i consider that the light is coming from the left side that's why i'll take a new layer and take the color from here which is uh, the warm color from here actually so warm color warm light color and go to the brush tool press b from the keyboard and select once you will get the brush or the light flare like that but i'll make it a little bit light is coming from the left side and then make it screen and decrease the fill color that's good and i'll drag it into like that that's fine and select all the stuffs that means all layers making it group right press and convert to smart object after making it convert to smart object we'll add another filter from the nick collection go to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 
from here i'll add another another filter from here which is uh, from the nick collection and here is the cross processing i do like to use that and from here lots of method over here which one is perfect for these photographs you have to pick up c04 or g05 one of them could be so i'm using c04 and hit the ok button you'll take time to load up and provide you the final output of that so it's done almost done let's see before and after huge change of the photo now we'll do another photo for the uh, clearance that means uh, if we get this type of photo what should we do now with that photo okay one thing is that i'll provide you the psd file so don't worry about that you can practice it in your home in this lockdown situation and i'll provide you the psd file for you guys and after that i'm going to the file again and open up another photo which is similar to this that means this and open it up so it will take time to open it up and i'll make it like that press ctrl or command j and then go to the filter camera filter this process will be more easier just because of we made a preset earlier load settings options and then the marigold two or one which one you want to whatever you can use that i will use a one okay like that and hit okay after that go to the file and place embedded and import that uh, like spark photo making it like this and making it bigger like this and hit the tick button and right press over here go to the blending mode and make it a screen so in this case i'll make it something blur like that so how to do that uh, from here go to the filter and blur and gaussian blur little bit not too much otherwise uh, you can't watch over here so little bit and hit the ok button that's fine and take another uh, like layer new layer go to the brush and in this portion the uh, light is coming from the same source so i'll just make it like this press ctrl or command t and make it bigger and hit the tick button and let's see that's good and select all the things and making it i'm making it snapshot for the uh, like uh, my convenient and making it group okay now i'll go to the filter again nick collection color effects pro 4 from here i'll add another preset which is uh, uh, for the cross processing and uh, like a uh, new look or movie or cinematic look for that from here i'm using here cross processing and i'll use that or uh, i'll use this one b110 you can make experiment with this type of photo how look like after that i'll go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels options from here i'll adjust the levels like that okay fine so before image was like that and after one you're getting like this so here as well before image was like that and after one you're getting like this so this one as well hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with a friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the all stocks and psd file please check out my video description until the next video i may so i'm signing out today stay safe stay at home bye bye